morning guys welcome back to this week's vlog it is monday it is uh, 10 to 9 and i have just come back from dropping Haley to school well done me got up got organized got the child out the door up to school yeah things were a little bit she was a little bit nervous she was a little bit um worried about the unknown an awful lot of things that they don't know one of her friends is in a class that's been de designated as another bubble for a different year so there was things like that going on that people were just nervous but overall i think they were quite excited to see each other and be back in school um she was nervous about people wearing face covers sorry that's itching my eye um and people who aren't gonna wear face covers as, as you do with any part of society you'll always get those that conform and those that don't um, but it's down to the school now and we see how it's handled. I'm really looking forward to her coming home. I want to hear all about it, how it was organised, how it was done, how she felt, you know. Did she feel safe? Did she not feel safe? Um, was there guidance from the teachers? You know, and it is her last year in school. And unfortunately it's in the pandemic, but what can you do? So... Yeah, we'll have to have a go. I'm going up to collect my click. I'm, I was too early for my click and collect order. So um, I'm going to go up in a bit and collect that. Um, other than that then, I just want to get my downstairs my house tidied. Carol has some chores he has to finish off. He's back in school Thursday. Kerry has something she needs to do. And she needs to also do her CV and apply for a couple of jobs. So we've all this going on but oh my god am i so happy to be back in a routine again and some order to the day and yeah i'm just yeah, relieved relieved but i think i'll be a little bit happier and a little bit more relaxed when she's home she tells me what the setup is i mean it's all right come send home a 29 page document of how you um how you envisage envision no can't say the word how you see things are gonna work out but it's another thing being in there and actually seeing how they're working. So that would be exciting. I'm glad for her. She met up with a friend going in. So, um, yeah, she has to just now come home and let us know what's going on. So I am going to have a cup of coffee. I am actually just going to sit for a few minutes and just take deep breaths, take a moment, have my coffee, try to get my headspace back focused, back into routine and start working on my to-do list hey guys so i am up at the school waiting to collect hey that's really funny because all i can hear is teacher shouting Electric Ireland. and all that's in the school today are first year and sixth year and oh my god there are so many people just lies running around kids are going to go on the school buses I think that's Haley's geography teacher. I might take up geography myself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so she's out at, what time is it now? 20 past three. She's out if she finishes at half three. So I am not sure what's going on. There's teachers out. So I don't know what's going on. So I am really looking forward to hearing how her day went today. From the text she was sending me earlier on it seems a bit confusing and some of her teachers didn't know what was going on she didn't know what was going on but hopefully hopefully she has a better understanding of what's going on so we will wait for the update it's funny the teachers some of the teachers have finished at three first years second years and third years are finishing at three fourth fifth and sixth are finishing at half three but the buses can't go until everybody's out. So the buses, or anybody getting the buses, are now loitering or have to loiter around for the buses. So it's just people hanging around. I don't know what's going on. So it'll be interesting to see and hear. So I am going to leave it here because people are walking by me looking like I'm weird. Hi guys. So today is Wednesday. I actually didn't manage to vlog anything yesterday. 
and the reason being is the sort of the day just seemed to get away from me and um, we had a few things happen obviously I was doing my course and the learner brief I think it's no it's not a learner brief it's a learner journal which was 60% um, of our marks I had done it up on my computer and just didn't save it or didn't do answer to start all that again so that took a couple of hours the other thing was in the middle of all that as you know my phone had smashed and I was using Kerry's old phone about six years old and it's great and in fairness to it the screen was pretty crappy shape but it was still functioned so my phone arrived um yesterday so of course sat down start playing with that trying to figure it out how to set it up etc and then in the middle of all that, Carl's school uniform arrived. Now he's back in school tomorrow and he went to try it on and one of his jumpers is just totally the wrong size. Um, now I did order the same size because when you go in, obviously you pick the size and you hit quantity and I just hit two. But they sent the wrong size so I've had to contact them. They're trying to get him out another, sh another top. So yeah, so it's a bit of a, it ended up just being a bit of a fluff yesterday and then when I did pick up the camera, there was no battery in the camera, there was, well there was, there was about 3% and I thought, you know what, just forget it, the momentum had gone out of the day, we were, I was done, I was just, yeah. So that's the way yesterday turned out. So then today, um, we're meant to be finishing this module on Friday and our tutor realised she hadn't done the whole of an, the end of the section of the learner brief um so she wanted to, so we had to do that today so that has just been absolutely crazy and it's head melting and all that malarkey my cousin has just rang to say she's going to call up so i had to fly out and start cleaning the kitchen um so she's coming up what else is happening today i have to collect Haley. um and i want to do something in my room my room is actually it's I rent here so it's very very plain Um, the owner that we rent off was like you can't paint the walls you can't do this you can't do that you can't do the other and at the beginning it was fine but we're here four years and it's like we really need to paint walls so for today we are going to have meatballs for dinner we're going to have that in a cranberry and fig sauce with some rice I think yeah I think that's what we do and um. Other than that, then I don't know what else is going to happen today. Mm, we'll have to say it's the most miserable day out. I'll show you this. The clouds, like compared to yesterday or compared to Monday, the clouds are out. The It's just, it hasn't stopped raining all day. And it wasn't just like a light drizzle. My phone is ringing. I will be right back. So guys, it's many hours later and the last time I was talking to you, my mum uh, was ringing me and I went in to answer my phone. And I don't know about you, but when I answer the phone and someone says, I'm ringing you so you don't panic, that makes me panic. So my mum rang me and her first line to me was, I'm ringing you so you don't turn on the news and panic. But the town, and you would have heard me mentioning this in the my previous vlogs in Clifton, was severely damaged by flooding. And obviously, my mum living on her own, you do. You sort of, straight away you think, oh my God, what's happening with you? The only thing is my mum lives on, it's not a hill, but it's a bit of a, it's a small hill. And so I know the water would run away towards the sea from her. But oh my God, the damage that was done. And it, it was just horrendous. Um, I can never, and I mean, I'm going down there. I'm going down there 44 years, 43 years, nearly 44. And for as long as, like, I've never heard my dad mention it. I've never heard any mention of the floodings, like what was there today. Um, I went on to Facebook and I googled Clifton floods. Oh, shocking. Absolutely shocking. But thanks be to God, it was property that was damaged, farmland that was damaged. There was no lives lost or anything like that. That's a blessing. So 
I'm actually getting ready to head out the door. Carl's getting ready, he's back, sorry I'm just moving around. Carl's back in school tomorrow. And uh, when he was putting out his clothes, he decided that uh, he needed stuff for school. Now I mean it's half seven, the night before school. So he's given me a list, so I'm gonna head up to Tesco's and do them just making a coffee. I'm always making coffee. That's all I seem to do is make coffee. My buddy runs on caffeine. So while I'm going up, I was asking hey, is there anything she, she needs? So she wants some long socks, knee length socks. So I'm going to try and grab her a couple of pairs of them as well. But um, yes, that's where I'm heading off to. I'm going to try and escape on my own. And I'm making a coffee here. I might just in a few minutes just throw it into a travel mug and run, run, just run. So um, yes, that's where we are. So Carl's getting all excited. He got himself out of bed early today. Like went to bed late last night and then got up early today. So he's tired for going to bed. Um, and it's going to be tough for him. I mean he's 16 and it's going to be tough to get back into a routine I think. And it's such big changes. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to fly up to Tesco's. I have to get a few things for them. Long socks, stuff like that. Um, Carl needs a copy book that's divided. Um, subject divided so I'm gonna get him one of them I did get two but I think Hayley claimed both good morning friends happy Friday well today is the day I finished the last day of my course I have next week three little one day courses add on one day courses we have to do but today is the end since February I've been slogging away at this and today is the last day of the last module. I don't know how I feel, I don't know if I'm happy or sad, but it is the last day. And oh my God, have I been so looking forward to getting to this. On another note, to celebrate, today is the first day. The two kids are back in school. Kerry's in her boyfriend's. I have the house to myself. Can we just take a moment? That is in six, seven months. First time I've had a house to myself. Don't know what to do though. Anyway, let's start by coffee. Okay, so it's quarter to nine. I'm gonna run up and have a share once I have this coffee. Down my neck, up to the windows. It's actually really sunny today compared to with the other days um, where it's been belting out of the heavens and places have been flooding. So, I have a few things to do on my to-do list for after college. My new phone is set up. It arrived on, what day did it arrive on? Tuesday, maybe Tuesday. So I'll show you that. Um, I also got, I'll show you what I got. I got this. Arrived. It's a, I call them a wuzz wuzz. But you can see it has a whisk and it has a nug frother. And I use them when I'm using, do you know these things that come? Do you know the sachets of coffees or some sort of coffees? I haven't seen tea in it, but coffee, you know, the, I can't even get into the pack. It's too early in the morning. Okay. So do you know when you're using sachets like this and you put the hot water in and you stir it and it all froths up. I would gag if there is lumps in it. I hate lumps. So that little, this thing, this wuzz wuzzy thing, it's a USB, you charge it, and it just froths it up and gets rid of all the USB speed adjustable milk frother there, that's what it's called. Um, I love them. I have one, I left one down in my mum's. So when this one arrived, it was just, so I'm going to make myself, well, probably on my break at half ten, I'm going to use it and make one of my flat white Kenko coffee things. I have to ring, book my car in for a service, the service light's on. A bulb has gone in the front of my car. What else have we to do? Get organised. I have to organise Hayley to go to Specsavers. She needs to get her eyes tested. It's been two years since she's got her eyes tested. Um, 
Specsavers car. I need to ring my bank because obviously setting up a new phone, I have to get it verified or something. I'll ring them. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I need to order Carl a new top because he now is, has PE and the, the top he has is quite tight. Well, they're, they're well fitted tops and he needs a bigger top for when he's doing PE and stuff. So I have to order him one of them. Uh, what else? I need to get post off my last assignment. I really, really, really want to get that done today. So when it's last day, assignment in post, done. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have to worry about it. Mind you, they have given us another two weeks to get it done, but I just want it in. I have to get it done. So there's that. What else is there? Um, I'm trying to think. It's it's so unusual. I'm in the house on my own for the first time in months, and I sort of feel I should do something. I should like. I don't know, give myself a spa day at home or, and then I'm thinking, well, I could actually hoover and wash the floors and nobody to walk on them. I can, my car needs hoovering because obviously before when we were taking the dog, before he passed away, up and down to the vet, he was molting quite a lot. So I've all his hairs that need to come out of the car. I have practical stuff. I need to go up to my room. My lights on my room are plugged into the wrong socket. I need to move them around. I need to hang up loads of clothes. Just loads to do, but I, do, I feel for the first day on your own, all kids back in school, Kerry up in her boyfriend's house, the house to myself. I really don't feel I should be doing the domestic bit. I feel I should be embracing it and reading a book. Or oh, that's what I might do. I might show you. I started my new book last night. It's called You Do You, and I like it. If you're easily offended by someone cursing when they're writing and stuff, it's not for you, but it doesn't bother me. And um, yeah, oh, Jesus, lads, you fell, you fell. Right, I'll, I'll hold you. So yeah, it's and it's quite no nonsense. Let's talk. Yeah, I I, I like it, but that's just me. Um, what else, Whitey? So I could show you that. I could show you the book. So I'm reading. I've started reading that book, which is like I suppose a self help book. Um, and I've also started reading a fiction book, which sounds really good. I've only just barely started. I think I've read maybe the first chapter. So um, I'll show you that. I just yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do on my own in the house with no kids all over the place. Um, I could get the dinner on. That would be a good start. But I don't know what I'm doing for dinner. I have to go to the butchers to collect that order. So yeah, so we have a few things to do. But right now I am just going to have my cup of coffee, go up for the shower, get ready for college, and let's get this day knocked out so we can just draw a line in the sand and that's it, it's done. Okay guys, so I didn't get to have my shower, decided to make phone calls instead. So just as I was about to log into my course, my um, computer windows decided to do a massive update so I'm still waiting to get in a half an hour later they're watching videos so you can't come in when the videos are on because it crashes everybody else out of it there so I decided to come out and get my breakfast which I have for my breakfast today I have overnight oats which obviously I did last night before I went to bed and I'm gonna eat them now while I'm waiting to get into my course so I will just bring them over here so you can not see. So basically the overnight oats are just oats and when you soak them, some people soak them in apple juice. My daughter particularly likes them in, um, she likes them in apple juice. Some people do it with orange juice, some people do it with water. I do it with milk. I do it with a, um, sort of half milk, half water. And then, or sometimes if I do it all with water, the next day I'll just put a blob of cream into it just to cream it up. But I'll show you what it looks like. So that's it. It's sat overnight for about, I suppose, eight hours. So yeah, so I'm going to have that now. And I'm going to get another coffee and then I'm going to wait patiently to be let back into my course. Alright guys, so it is break time and we're going to bust out this woz woz out of its box and make a flat white with no lumps because I don't do lumps. But 
video a gag and then I can't drink the coffee so um, I have to get it on the Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. It's just, that's the milk frother and that's the, the name of it. Where is the charge? And that's the charging port, so it's a micro USB. So that's that. It comes with a charging cable and it comes with this thing. Now, I think I would use this if I was doing up a little bit of cream or maybe I was doing an egg, a little scrambled egg, just one scrambled egg for myself. You know, just something small. I mean, maybe you can use it for coffee or, you know, the sachets of coffee, frothing it up. I don't know. But this would be the the boy I'm used to using. So I'm going to give him a go and see how we can. So we pour him in there. Now, I know they say when you boil the kettle, you should leave it a minute. Ooh. I'm spilling everything everywhere. So the kettle just boiled while I was hoovering my floor. So I'm going to just come off the boil. Okay. Let's take this bad boy and see what he does. Jesus, lads. It's like a blue. Oh, look. It's like a tornado. Okay. Let me just stop. For a minute. Jesus. Right. Okay, so you can't go down when you're was wasn't. You can't go down, it'll only go up if you stop it. So I'm gonna Right, that's what happens when it's on number three. Holy moly. That's because I kept flicking it. Okay, so now that we've half a cup of coffee, we'll just give it a gentle stir. Holy moly. Right. I'm actually, that gave me such a fright because I wasn't really paying attention. Right, so let's just stop that there. So that looks well mixed. Bloody Ada, look at that mess. Okay, so, that's, so if you're putting it in a mug, don't use number three because that's what happens. So I have tasted it and there is no lumps. I did put a little bit of whipped cream on top with some cinnamon sugar. So now I'm going to go back to class. So yeah, so overall once I figure out how to work it properly and not spill it all over the counter, yeah, it looks like it could do the job. Well guys, we're back on the school run again. So I went into town after I finished college and I am... Um, I wanted to go to the school uniform shop and get Carl. His tops come, they are extremely figure, -hood figure hugging. They're like really fitted. So I wanted to get him another one, a size bigger. Um, he's wearing the ones, obviously, that we got him. Um, by G. <laughs> Yeah, you'd sort of have to pour, like you wouldn't want a big lunch now or anything because you'd have to pour them into it. But uh, apparently yesterday he got some nice compliments off some girlies, so he was chuffed with himself. But um, yeah, no, he definitely needs a bigger size. Especially when it gets to winter and they want to start wearing heavier t-shirts and stuff under it. He doesn't have to wear a shirt, but he has to wear like a t-shirt under it. And, um, I'm just through from here. Um, yeah, so I've ordered that. I've had to, I went into town. I was telling you that. I went to the uniform shop. They do all parts of the uniform bar the TY jumpers. And he says, I don't know why we don't do them. So you can only get them off this one company. So I'm actually putting the order in online to get it sent out to him. Now they are very quick. They, um, I think the last day I put the order in on the Monday and it was dispatched on the Tuesday. So they're pretty quick. So he might have to wear it on Monday, but I'd say his new ones be there Monday evening or Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, Monday, I'd say they'd be there. So he has to do that. The traffic is just not moving. It's like, so then I decided, well, see as you're in town, pop into Penny's. So I went into Penny's cause my mum asked me to get her some, um, hair bands so I went in and was looking at them picked up I actually needed a new nightdress 
I have two nitrous, like, short ones. I have, what the kids call it, a meme, not a memo, whatever they call it anyway, it's a long one, a long nitrous. Um, in the winter, I, I don't like sleeping with pajamas on, I don't like my legs in, and I don't like long sleeves. So I just wanted to get a t uh, like a t-shirt nightdress. So I went into Penny's, picked up her hairband, picked up the nightdress. Um, what else did I pick up? I didn't pick the, well, I did pick them up. I went to queue to go pay. And the queue to go pay was, um, go into the shop. I was like, you, the, the pay thing is right in the back. And it was the whole into the shop. And I just thought, no, no, not for a nightdress. I'm sorry, no. So I went out of there, so I didn't get out in pennies, didn't get Carl's jumper. The only thing I did get was I had to go to Vets and get Chico's paw prints that they did. Um, when he was put to sleep, they did a cast of his paw and they shaved some a little bit of his hair. So they gave us a little bit of his hair and the paw print back. Um, I'm not gonna show it on here because Kerry's up in her boyfriend's house and she hasn't seen it. So out of just respect for her, I'm gonna wait till she comes home and she sees it, but I will show it to you. So I had to come home after that, totally with nothing. So what a disappointment, what an anti-climax. I thought, yay, I'll go No. So I am absolutely knackered. I was looking at my watch, you know, where it records how many hours sleep and stuff you get. Um. I think I, last night I got five hours. I could not sleep. For love nor money could I sleep last night. So I'm sort of thinking I might collect the kids, go home and have a snap, quick nap. No college tomorrow. Thanks to God. No school run, no nothing. I'm done. It's actually so funny. I thought today going back to school would never arrive. Now it's here. I'm like, I'm so over. But today was sort of the first day I've had no one in the house. So, yeah, but I didn't do anything either. I didn't... Um, I, didn't do any, I did make shapes of doing going to pennies and so I said I'm not going to queue for 40 minutes to buy a hairband and a nightdress I'm just not I mean who's got time for that so anyway um, this traffic is so heavy it's just moseying along so for today's dinner I have Hayley has sweet and sour chicken left over so she wants to have that Carl is going to have the sausages um, and waffles I think I think I'll do waffles just something different and I'm going to have a jack of potato and that's what we're all going to have and it's just going to be messy old tea Carl has texted me saying he's knackered he's going to go for a nap when he comes home Hayley was like she's a lot of homework I think but I have my final assignment to do for college so I sort of said to her, why don't you wait till tomorrow and we can both sit down and do our assignments together and see how it goes. So I've got my new phone. I haven't shown you yet, but I think I've told you. So I've just figured out Carl had to come down and show me how to um, be able to record videos on it because it converts them and stuff and you have to press the conversion button and it automatically zooms in and I wanted it zoomed out and yeah, <laughs> I should do. I think once you get over 40, your power of processing new stuff and gimmicky stuff and just, you just don't possess it anymore. Um, or maybe it's just my willingness to learn about them I don't possess anymore. I don't know. They have flags up at the church. I don't know if they're going to do communions, you know, delayed communions. I don't know. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave it there because I'm at another red light and I think I'm just going to cry at this stage. Oh no, we're moving again. So I'm nearly at the school, so they're out in eight minutes. I'll be there. Spinning around the corner, but I'll be there. And it is 19 degrees out. How bloody muggy is that? There's not even sunshine where you could go, oh, it's going to be sunny and warm. It's just humid and muggy. And it's raining on and off all day. So yeah, so you can tell I'm tired. My positivity is quite low today. I just feel like a bit moany. Right, before I moan anymore, I'm going to go and I will chat to you maybe later. It could be tomorrow.
could be next week. I don't know. Because I tend to forget to pick up the camera. But I think I'm getting better. Right, I will talk to you later. So, hello, my lovely people. Sorry, I'm just reversing on my drive. Um, today is Saturday, and I have had such a lazy day today. I um, couldn't sleep last night for love nor money. Kept going to sleep, falling asleep for an hour, waking up again, falling asleep. Just so uneasy. And then at about four o'clock this morning, Hayley came in to me and said she wasn't feeling well. So we went downstairs and we had a cup of tea and she had um, some ice water. And I went back up to bed at seven, slept through till about one. And yeah, it's just been, and then when we got up, I just haven't been in the mood to do anything. I'm tired, fed up, but I have to do something. I can't get out of my state, so bloody busy the road. Okay, go. So, um, yeah, so we've just been sitting around, sort of just relaxing. We've always, even when the kids were young, we've always had Saturday sort of as our, our down day. I know some people do it on a Sunday. Um, I actually like getting organized on a Sunday for the week. So Saturday was always, even when the kids were small, were our down day. So um, this morning, we got, as I said, Haley stayed up. I went back to bed. But when I got up, she was watching, I don't even know what she was watching, something on Netflix. So I sat down with her and we had sort of, she'd eaten something at that point and wasn't feeling too bad. So we just sort of chilled out and relaxed. And then I went to put on my oils and I realized I was out of some of the essential oils that I like. So I'm actually on my way up to home store and more. I'm going to try now, mad cues, I'm not queuing crazy times to try and get stuff. So what I want to do is I want to go up. There was one I got um, before up in Homestone Morning. It was, I think it was pink champagne or it was pink something anyway. But they're little oils. So I want to get that again because I like the smell of that. And it's a nice fresh smell as well. So I'm going to go get that. Where else have I to go? I have to go into Harvey Norman. I need to get a micro SD adapter. I think. I think that's what Carol said they're called. So it's where you take the micro SD and you put them inside the bigger thing and then you can put it into your computer. So I need to get one of them. And I was asking the kids what they wanted for dinner. Carol wants to order in. I don't particularly want to order in. Hayley doesn't want to order in because obviously she's not feeling well. So if I'm only ordering in for Carol, I might. I'll have to say, I forgot my sunglasses. Um. So yeah, so that's really... I've nothing really planned for today. I'm actually videoing, um, videoing a video of um, all the books that I have to read this, well, not that I have to read this winter, but I have in my house to read this winter. And I'm going to go through that. Um, that just involves sitting on my bed, which is, which is nice. It doesn't involve me having to do anything. Um, but other than that, there's not much really. To, as I said, today is always the lazy day. It's just a plodgy day at home. Normally, like that, like we're going to have tonight, Carl, I think he's going to, I think he'll order in. And then myself, I'll just have, if there's any leftovers from during the week that's in the fridge. We just sort of, it's a clean out day. And then I want to get, I want to stop in the butchers on the way home and get a roast, some sort of roast. Sorry, this is my new phone. I'm trying to get used to it. I don't even know which way to, is best. I'm sure we'll figure it out. But um, yeah, I want to get a roast, but I don't want any chicken. Carl's mad on chicken. And I'm just pain in my ass eating chicken. So I might have a look. I might get pork, actually. I like pork. Get some pork. I'm not a lover of like roast beef. So I won't be getting that. I want to get some stew and meat. Um, I do like a bit of shin. If they have some shin in, I'll get some shin. Again, it's one of those meats you have to cook forever. But once it's cooked and tender, oh my God, it is divine. So I got a letter this morning off the postman. He was out in about early enough. So Haley is going for her eye test, I think the weekend of the, 
I think it's the 19th of September day before my birthday. She's going for her eye test, so I need to, that's written in the calendar. So there isn't really much else going on today. As I said, today is our down day. It's the day we just chillax. Everybody just relaxes. They've all obviously been back in school and they're all knackered. But even when they were small, we used to do this. Saturday was down day, play day, whatever. And then Sunday, we start getting organized for the week ahead. But we have a complete break on a Saturday. Hence, I'm going out looking for essential oils. So I'm going to drive up there now and I will chat to you later. Hi guys, so it's a couple of hours later and I decided to come to my bedroom to show you a couple of the books I'm reading at the moment. I apologise about the light, it's actually, well, it's nearly dark out. It is half eight, so apologies for the lighting. So one of the books that I'm reading at the moment, it is a self-help book and it's by Sarah Knight and it's called You Do You. And I'm reading this at the moment and one of the things I like about it is the size of the writing. I can't read at night when it's sort of really small writing because I tend to read in bed. So I'll show you, that's the size of the writing in the book. So you can see you go to bed, it's fairly biggish writing. So it's called You Do You, Being Yourself Should Be Easy, right? Yet instead of, le of leaning in to who we are and what we want, we let ourselves be ruled by what other people expect. Rather than feeling confident and in control, we feel anxious and insecure. If this sounds familiar, best-selling anti-guru Sarah Knight has three words for you. You do you. So that's what that book is. I'm reading it at the moment. I probably pick it up and read a chapter, not even a chapter a night. If I'm in the mood, if I'm not, um, obviously I don't. So when I started putting that on my pillow for tonight. So the other book I'm reading, which is a fiction book, and this is by Liz Nugent and it's called Lying in Wait. Now I don't know how old these books are. My mum got it in, she gets them in the charity shop. So they could be brand new, this year's, this month's release or it could be from 10 years ago that people have just decided to hand in. So basically it's this, I've only read the first chapter of it so I'm not very far into it but I'll read the back and you can see what you think of it. Um, it says, the last people who expect to be meeting with a drug addicted prostitute are a respected judge and his reclusive wife and they certainly don't plan to kill her and bury her in their ex exquisite suburban garden. Yet Andrew and Liz Fitzsimon find themselves in this very unfortunate situation. While Linda does all she can to protect their innocent son Lawrence and their social standing, her husband begins to fall apart. But Lawrence is not as naive as everyone thinks. And his obsession with the dead girl's family may be the undoing of his own. Sounds interesting. So that's what I'm reading. I said I'm only a chapter in. The writing in it, again, is fairly big, so you can read it at night. That's sort of one of the, the criteria I have for a book. It has to sound interesting and have big writing. So that's the two books I'm reading at the moment. The other book I started reading, I was reading this last, well, I've been trying to read it for the last two months. And I got to page 16 and it's just, I, I just, I just can't get into it. And that's not to say in two months time, I don't come back and pick it up and fly through the book and think it's the best thing. Just at the moment, whatever the book is doing, it's just not, I'm not enjoying it. So this is the book that I can't, well, that I can't read at the moment, How to Fall Apart. And it's by Linda, what's her name? Linda Hines. She's a freelance journalist. So yeah, so from breaking up to book clubs to being enough, things I've learned about finding and losing love. 
It says, when journalist and podcaster Linda's marriage ended, it felt like a loss. Her best friend and the love of her life, and the, sorry, her best friend and of the life she envisioned on her wedding day. In the months that followed, she had to adjust to a different future. As a single mum juggling work and maintaining a home without someone to share the ups and downs of every day. Here in this onion poignant and beautifully written memoir, she gives an account of her experience. Maybe it's a little too raw for me at the moment. I don't know. I just can't get into it. I said it sounds like a good book. It sounds like something I'd normally be into reading. Just can't get my head into it at the moment. So yeah, so they're the books I'm reading at the moment. I am going to end this vlog here for this week. It was sort of a non-week, as in nothing major happened. I know the kids went back to school, but sort of, I suppose maybe I was always just waiting for that call or you're waiting for that. So next week, hopefully we'll have settled down, we'll have some sort of routine going and we will be back into some sort of stride. I have three small courses next week to do. I've got a first aid, food preparation level one, the protection of the vulnerable, something like that. I have to three of them anyway. So I'm going to do them and then that's me done. I have applied to do the next course up. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we're done. So I'm going to leave it there. Enough waffle for me. Is will probably stick here listening to me. Nothing's happened this week, only me waffling away to the camera. Um, so yeah, I will see you next week. Take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs>